Hi, Duncan from 65 here. Often you'll get emails into your organization that are prevalent and they keep coming from the same email address. It could be for all sorts of reasons. It could be a spammer. It could be someone who's just sending you fraudulent emails looking for an in to the organization or uh, someone you've had interactions with that you no longer want uh, to interrupt your staff. So I'm going to show you as a Google Workspace admin how you add them to a list in order to keep them blocked so that any inbound emails actually just get deleted uh, and don't actually make it to your users. So the first thing you're going to do is log into admin.google.com and you're going to go to, excuse me, uh, apps, Google Workspace and down to Gmail. And inside of Gmail, you'll find this section, if you scroll down a little bit, called Spam, Phishing and Malware. And what we'll do is open that up and you'll see we've got already a bit of a section going on here about blocked senders. Um, so that means people that are external to you sending in to your organization. And you can uh, tweak these rules as you may be. If you don't have uh, one there yet, what you're gonna do is click add another rule. And that is going to allow you to label it and then use a list or create a new list. Um, and then if you wish to, you can send them a, uh, a rejection notice. Uh, so what I'm going to do actually is just edit and alter the existing one that we've got. So we've called it identified fraudulent senders. And on that, I've already got this particular list. So all I'm going to do is edit that list and I'm going to add the email address onto it that I need to um, manipulate. And as you see, that just pops it up into a new window and I'll click on edit here. And then if I scroll down to the bottom, I'm going to click on add address, paste in the new address there, and then click on save. So my list has now gone from uh, seven to eight, as you can see there. And then if I come back uh, to this, I'm not actually obviously going to manipulate that. What I'm going to do is click on edit. Uh, this list will now say eight on it if I refresh the page. And simply what will happen now is when that person sends an email to us, it will bounce. It will not make it through to our users. Uh, and we're just adding that uh, very kind of hammer related um, blocking system to inbound emails. So pretty straightforward, pretty easy to do. Um, thanks very much for watching. If this video was helpful, please don't forget to like and subscribe below, ring the little bell, and we'll see you in the next video. Cheers.